and hello folks. It is I, Kamikaze, here to bring you with Death and Taxes. Ignore the fact that it says continue. I actually haven't started the game yet, um, but I hit new game and then forgot that I wasn't recording. Um, so this game is available on Steam. It is uh, got a free demo, but it's not released until the 20th of this month as a full game. Obviously, this is the demo. As well I'm not that special um, so we're gonna go straight into it you are the Grim Reaper in I guess uh, an office job kind of thing um, that's really all I know from the uh, description on Steam yeah this is this is as far as I got before I was like wait what so uh... oh I can scroll mouse or I can move mouse. Whee! Hey, look, I'm Clark Kent with a fabulous tie, you know. No one will ever identify me. Ah. Except for with an itchy nose. Great. The Keeper of World Order. So, I guess I'm this fantastic guy, uh... Clark Kent. And... <laughs> Every demonic ritual needs lemons. Oh, how could I forget? I can't summon Cthulhu without my citrus. And like mint leaves. Damn it. <sighs> they like yellow in this so far. That's all it's showing. Because what you need is the beetles. You know, I'm out of ingredients for my demonic ritual, so what do I do? I go down to the corner market. I brought my coupons on, you know, reptile spleens and whatever else. <laughs> it, it's like the, the math question that answered, like, who buys 300 lemons? This guy! Excuse me, sir? You know, I wonder how much, uh, you know, this guy can take before he just turns around and slaps the crap out of the guy. Okay, moving on. Apparently not very much. He just sets fire to the guy with his eyeballs. Leave the market angry, of course, with my bag of lemons. Hope no one followed me. Cthulhu, I have come to bargain. You rang, sir? <laughs> oh, gotta go back in. Don't mind me, I'm just taking a bath. I'm having too much fun with this. Oh, I'm the... Gr yeah. I'm not him. Apparently, I am the... Uh, well, I thought that was the Grim Reaper. But, wait. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm the John Cena of Grim Reapers. Oh, there we go. I can be fabulous. <laughs> That's it? Okay, well, we're gonna go fabulous and... Yep, done. Not even going to look through the rest of them. Begin the bureaucratic afterlife. Absolutely. I'm Mr. Bigglesworth. The new spawn has awoken. So I'm assuming the cat's talking to me, of course. What a... Uh, momentous day. I am honored to welcome you into our world. Spawn. Hang on. Spawn number one, five. I've always wanted to be a number. It's better I than an emoji. I am fate. I am the keeper of world order. Uh... <laughs> I don't much care for being just one, five. Can I be fate? Another ironic one. Great. No, you may call yourself the Grim Reaper as that is what you are. 
What happened to the last one, Clark? Welcome to your new job as an overseer of Cosmopolis City Subdivision 4, the Sun County Wine Region. I know what you are thinking, and yes, your assignment is choosing humans who have to die. Pretty standard stuff. Of course, we are going to talk this slow. As it is your first day, try to get to know the system and do not destroy the world, yes? <laughs> Gallows humor, you see? Right, yes. <clears throat> Clear? Wait, I have to kill people? <laughs> Will I get paid for this? Most certainly. The contract stipulates that every death gets a fair salary based on their performance accuracy. So I was raised from the dead in order to get paid. I, I, my guy didn't die to come back to work a full-time job again. I sure in the hell wouldn't appreciate that. Correct is the most important task. If you mark more or less than necessary, you will not get your fee at all. Well, that's a jip. I'm not paid by the hour. Errors in secondary tasks will reduce the total even if the primary task is <laughs> executed correctly. Remember, the fate of the world lies in your hands. Humans march towards the great dying. They always teeter on the precipice, creating endless chaos. Yeah, yeah, I like chaos. We keep humans from falling off. We establish the equilibrium and keep the chaos in check. For that reason, your actions will have consequences. Hmm, all right, where do I work? I was born to do this. Why me? Yeah, or whatever. Let's get this over with. Uh, <laughs> I was born yes, you to do were. this. Literally. I will now show you your workplace. One more thing. This will be your seven day evaluation period. When the week is done, you will be assessed. Yeah, I put the ass in assessed. One week to show us what you are made of, Reaper. This is weird. All right. Uh, it's going through Cocker. That sounds like an inappropriate place. Oh, I could just leave them open. I'll do that. Okay, I have to do this. I'm seeing this in 144 hertz, and it is ridiculously pretty death flower. Oh, I even got it to go faster. Ah, there we go. Okay. Um. Deus Vax Machina. Selena marks some of the profiles before I end my shift. Death, the marker of death. Whoop. That thing is still spinning. Okay, um, well that's still spinning. We have Philip Harms, age 20, student. Philip is a very random guy, meaning the blah, blah, they enjoy chaotic and odd behavior. For example, they love playing pranks on their friends and conducting occult rituals. They also have a personal catchphrase of stay out of harm's way, and they're fond of animal skulls. DIE! Unless I find something to erase this with. Okay, what about you? Zebra Sile. What began as a constant stargazing as a child turned into a career in astronomy. Zara's main goal is to find asteroids that could potentially hit the planet. And, uh... It's slowing down. Eh. 
and alert asteroid destroyer units in the military. I guess you should live. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do not ask me again! My choice is on my own! Okay. Um. Yes. Choices are plum firmed. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> oh, the new death spawn. Welcome. How was your first day? I hate Walwood so orders. Most who are not in charge. Is that not so? Alas, you will just have to deal with it. The office has no time for wayward deaths. Remember, lives are on the line. <laughs> Really now? I see exactly. I wonder if they've seen my attached. file and they're just like, you know what? We don't want him to go yet. Nope, he's still Did here. Nah. Out the best choice. I, I got the lazy one that just says everyone can live. Um. The best. There are only two options. Indeed, I am glad you are paying attention. In the future, I may require you to make more difficult choices. Hold on a second, we're gonna go properties and capture cursor. There we go. Such is the unfortunate, indisputable, incontrovertible, ironclad law of cosmos. Question? Nope, I'm ready for anything. Keep your eye on the letter for future guidelines. And keep up the good work. A new day awaits. Off you go now. Yay! Really? Can I have an... Oh, there we go. Good morning, Grim. I hope you found your accommodations adequate. Rule the day, blah, blah, blah. Quota for the day. One human with an engineering or industrial background has to die. Okay, what's this? Black magic is in a danger to the youth. Freckling linked earthquakes. Oh, it's like Twitter. A cocker just sounds, you know, better. Why didn't they name it that? All right, so I grab my marker. Take a look here. Ra Rajesh Nakwavi. The uh, age the. He's an oil fracker in the fracking industry for money, and no one cries to the environmentalists. <laughs> we think determined on the rise of a career ladder of the boss fracking firm someday. Sure. You live. Go away. Thank you. Taimo Hidaka, 31, astronaut. Boop. Nope, wait. Uh, oh, fine. Uh, no one will know who he is. Oh, wait. Um, let us get to Decided to join the Earth Defense Unit as an astronaut. Danger asteroid located the first time in the training. They must now land on the surface to blow it up. Sure, why not? Guess we need the world to stay alive. And you... Well, you're just gonna die. Um... <laughs> I can't even read it yet. Age 32? Yeah, in your bra. Uh, construction, life of advanced civilization, high rises strewn across the horizon, glorious life, but we can do better. That's not to be think. Slightly started researching more ecologically sound architecture with some called arcologies. Oh, I can't actually draw on that. Oh, well, we're done. Yep. Uh, dong dong. Two live, one dies. Grim, how was the second day on the job? Great! Gladdens. So, did you follow the rules properly? Maybe, I don't Everything know. Everything looks in order, as far as I can tell. And it is my job to tell these things. Continue the good work, and do not let tough choices get you down. Uh... I hope I get to kill more people. <laughs> Can I get a vacation? Damn. Rest well. You will need it. 
See you soon. I am a grim reaper. What am I going to do? You know, get my complexion better by taking a nap? Kitty cat. Oh, I have a Cosmo in here, too. All right. Earthquakes getting more frequent, devastating, blah, blah, blah. Big asteroid successful. Going to oh, so what I do affects what the cock... Cocker? Cock nut? I don't remember what it was. Doesn't matter. Okay, cool. A new day downs. You ought to know the drill by now, but just in case, here's another simple one. No special request today. Try to follow the rules and choose appropriate profiles, then send them to me by fax. Two humans have to die. That is the quota. Keep up the good work. Alright, so what do we got here? We got... I already learned I can do this now. We're gonna grab these three, and you know what? We'll find out. So we got Columbia Hunter... An airplane pilot. Columbia is a distinguished war veteran. These days, he's working a well-regarded passenger airplane pilot. They're happily married with five children as a hobby. Colum Columba is extremely interested in the history of religious buildings. Nope, you die. No particular reason. Mainly because you got this horrible goatee. Uh, Kepri Anward. Age 48. Uh, position... Rector? What? Kepri is a strict and stoic. With a strong belief in hard work, and last, uh, and that they have done enough of it to last a lifetime. Loving spouse and strange child, when the heir told them their romantic inclinations, Kepri thought about beating those thoughts out with a stick. You die too. Why not? Leo's been political for over 40 years in the hardworking, relaxing government, meddling in the real estate market. Been rumors that Leo has taken many bribes from realtor agencies. You die as well. Um. That you've lived enough years. You all have lived enough years. Okay, put you down, put you down, put you down. We'll move you over there. Um, quota for the day. Two humans have to die. Well, three are dying. Uh, professor at the local university has dedicated a life to studying... The advocate banning small fish bolts. Sure, why not? You seem like... Whoops. Whoops, oops, oops. Um... I don't know. Uh, Narian Navali. 24. Cultist! Loyal level group 2 devoted themselves to a forest spirit. They believe that both the spirit and the tree from nature. And the mighty oak seems a lot older than the rest of the forest. Narian enjoys nature, but isn't that keen on Aristotelian brands of whipping. Branch whipping, which seems oddly important to their leader. Yeah, you get a live. You get a whip some more. Cultist. Alright, I think that was all of that. Let's spin my magical... Thing there. Organizing stuff? Well, let's... Yeah, because that works. Let me put my phone in there. Close that. Oh, I can't actually close that. <laughs> yep, we're done. So what's that? It's day three. My latest spawn. Three days you have been with us. How do you feel? Hungry! Probably some of the psychic residue left over from the creation. Making a death is not simplistic alchemy. You know, I'm craving citrus. Lemony goodness. Do you have any lemon pledge? Now, let me take a look at the files you sent in today. I see. You have marked more deaths than was required. Than what was required. I do hope this will not become like a thing where I have to keep reiterating that you have made mistakes and that you should follow the rules to the letter. It said the quota was two. It didn't say I couldn't exceed the quota. Because I really do not feel like doing it every day. Alas, if that is what it takes. Then print up a new form and say they're, they there live. really is not much else to say. You may leave. Yeah, 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 yeah. All oh, right, read me. The sun feels delightful today. Three humans have to die. That's all I need to know. You do not eat. That means walks in the Oh, it's gone. And this says a pilot died in a plane crash due to a plane factory error. The pitfalls of mechanics industry. Uh. 
Sky Mechanics forced to make changes in the production of plane parts. Local politician dies after getting hit with a car. Police have not yet ruled out a deliberate hit. And a mystic cult turned into environmental group. Hmm. Uh, Rector of Solon died. I guess they... They're a die rector. Ha ha ha! The results are in. Fish can have a little sal A little salami. Okay. Alright, so now we did how many people did that have to die? Three. Three people have to die. What do we got here? We're gonna put these all out so that way I can see them. Alameda Quinn. 24. Footballer. Technically skilled and aggressive center forward player. Alameda has already led their football team to the international championship victory several times. They aim to become the greatest athlete the Sun County region has ever had. Alright, so she's 60. Yeah, I guess she looks 60. Let me grab the marker. Give her some more wrinkles. Oh, no, I'm just gonna give her some badass eyebrows. Uh, so she's a surgeon. Tatiana decided to become a surgeon after their grandmother died of cancer when they were in their teens. Inspired by stories told by their patients, they wrote a book of medical recoveries in order to help others with pain. Grim, I am watching you. You should mark this profile to live. Let's check the other ones real quick. <laughs> no, prep. Jackson just doesn't seem to get a break. They manage various projects, which all somehow end up failing. They used to be married, but nothing lasts forever. Their pet goldfish died in one day. Their bike always seems to have a flat tire, and this is just the beginning. That's a good reason to make them live. No, you can die. I, I knew someone who looked like this. Wait, is that Markiplier? <laughs> No, no, ignore that. Markiplier's awesome. I don't know him personally. I would love to, but I don't. Uh, <laughs> the, the stupid marker as I keep drawing all over Markiplier's face. I'm sorry, Mark. <laughs> if you see this, would you probably won't. It's nothing personal, man. Alexis is an uprising star who started their career in a boy band. Recently, they've gone solo and released their first album. Album. They love dogs and having a picnic among friends. Looks more like a, a Justin Bieber reject. Look at this hairpiece! Uh, Gahan Sali. Gahan's made a living by hunting wild game for decades. Recently, he's become fascinated with conspiracy videos on MeToo. Convinced there is a monster living in a swamp nearby. I'm sorry, he gets to live because he believes in Shrek, the Almighty. Wait, that means all the other three people have. No. That's fine. Okay, you. You get to live. Okay, I still have to kill two more people. So we'll put you down there. Again, sorry, Mark. <laughs> Your alias fools no one. Alright, so two more people have to die. You should mark this profile to live. Should! Doesn't say you need to. Technically skilled aggressive center forward. Uh, yeah, you know what? You can die. You can live and you can die. Fuck you, fate. You can't tell me how to do my job. <laughs> there you are. Let us be quick. All the profiles are here, just as requested. Excellent work. I am beginning to sense a tinge of pride growing within me. But he's not going to comment, I not really? I expect you to turn out such a good and dedicated reaper. Okay, fine. If you keep this up, you will get far. You may be even promoted to a middle management position. What is middle management? The cat emits a delighted meow at the prospect. Meow! <laughs> anyway, I am quite busy tonight, so you can go. Until tomorrow, Grim. 
So that was like what day four? Open me. This was some. It's a mundane day. Nothing out of the ordinary going anywhere. Regular. Blah, 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 blah. Spare any humans with a food service back. <laughs> you worked for McDonald's and you're gonna live. At least that's how it goes today. Ah, eh, you can go in there. Dunk. All right. Ex-member of the boy band Youth Sector killed in airplane crash. <laughs> Man's demand explanation. Can the Sun Country football team claim another championship victory? Finals coming up next week. Fatal air crash caused by a series of malfunctions. Woman accidentally rams ex-husband with car. Local swamp and <laughs> reportedly inhabited by a green monster. Get out of my swamp! <laughs> Oh, it doesn't say anything about, um, the, the lady that I, uh, killed that he said that I should let live. Alright, so we're gonna put that one there. I'm gonna put that one there. That one there. Let's, anyone with a food? Uh, b -b 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 -b. good food is always needed from cooking to enjoy tricks through mountain. It doesn't say they have a food service background. Uh, Erwin, caregiver, out of the under truth, very caregiver, live a slapping to the job, mostly trying to get the elderly and giving them money or having them buy fake insurance. Well, uh, goodbye. Um, I'll put you right there. So, wait. Put that down. Put that over. Open this. Open this. Look at it again. Two humans have to die. Spare any humans with a food service background. Let's... Food service. Heating up old coffee in a microwave. Is that considered food service? Keep committing grave sin when serving customers. Alright, you get a live. We'll call that food service. Okay, sort the papers over there. Aside from cooking, that's all it says there. Talks too much, however, themselves thinks they have not been talking at all enough. Sounds like me. Uh, space radiation is their passion and endlessly fascinated by giant black holes. Wait, there is a thing in, in the uh, phone about black holes. I should let him live. But then again, three people have, or two people have to die. Uh, wetland scientist who recently moved into a little college in the swamp for science. I'm seeing the ability to connect things here. Scaring lost hikers for entertainment. I <laughs> recently noticed the suspicious hunter can't be live! <laughs> Alright, so two people have to die. Um, uh, that's where it becomes difficult. Okay. Already high living expenses on the rise. The arts degree get around to finishing it. Scares free time. Do organic origami. Oh, geez, I haven't even been reading these. Adult caregiver, barista. Okay, so yeah, I'm I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, you have to live, unfortunately, because you involve food. Damn it. No, two people have to die. Okay, so live, die. That's a very manly woman. But she's going to make Shrek a great wife. <laughs> Whee! Yep, we're done. What a day, Grim. What a day. You can't Let tell me I did anything wrong. Conduct first. Good. I see the correct amount of profiles. Today seems to be in order. Anyway, Grim, five days you have been with us. How does it feel to make the difficult choices? Honestly, I feel like I'm not killing enough people. I crave more! Grim, take this seriously. We are here to save the humans from themselves and hold the chaos at bay. Bull poopy! But think of the humans. 
Do you think our office is the appropriate way to deal with them? Absolutely. Your certainty soothes me. Death. Ours Death. is the tradition. Death. Death. Those should not ever change. Well, that is the meaning of a tradition. Yes? This control over all the lives, unbeknownst to the humans. Do you not consider it unethical to make the choices you make? But you hand out the rules and make me do the choices. Can't worry too much if this is what has to be done. I'm not happy. To... Yeah, you know what? You... True enough. One must be in charge. The others are there to follow. The office is perennial and venerated. Eons we have spent designing the appropriate methods and strategies. We know what we are doing. To know what you're doing means you had to have screwed up at some point in time and know what not to do. Oh, I do apologize for taking up so much of your time. Before you go, are there any questions you would like to ask? Yo, I didn't even notice that. Why haven't I seen any underage profiles? What's the basis of the profiles? Is there a point system? Why do all profiles prefer... Ah, the children. They are a special case for a different set of departments to deal with. You will not find any yourself. Hmm. Countless. Oh, lovely. And they all have Reapers working for them. Myriad. I don't know what that means. Does that mean a lot? I'm assuming that means a lot. My English vocabulary is very limited. Close enough. Anything else? What about animals? Do they get a department? Yeah. Absolutely. All living beings have to be processed after the end. Next I would hate to be the one who has to, you know, process ants or single-celled organisms. Even plants. Yes, there is a department for plants. Do not ask about the plant department. I didn't, but now you've piqued my interest. Anything else? What about the unliving things built? Sure. Technically, uh, kind of, I guess. Ruins are like a type of dead. But then again, they often feel so alive. Hmm, I must ponder. This topic is a bit too abstract for now. Let us table it. Why? Anything else? Well, is it a point system? Uh, <clears throat> not at all. Oh, that didn't sound, you know, right? Don't they influence the world in many ways? In all and in none, yes. So, is it predetermined? What about free will? Humans have some free will, sure. They can make a variety of choices. Yet what matters is that they cannot escape the inevitable. The life-threatening situations that bring them onto your desk. The result of their own deeds and decisions. Then there are some highly complex calculations, factors and aspects that influence the situation. But that is just a bit over your pay grade, so do not worry well, about Well, I haven't it. been paid yet, so we don't know that. Well, technically that would mean everything's over my pay grade. Anything else? Why do all the profiles refer to people as they? An astute observation. You see, Grim. We try and be, you know, socially or politically correct because we don't want to assume what they identify as. Our office does not operate on information about biological backgrounds or genetic composition. So, no gender information? Minimal. Everyone you assess is simply human, after all. Excluding any monumental error in normal procedure. The bottom line is that the humans end up on your desk and that you must follow the rules. Technically, that's all he has to say. You have to follow the rules and do this. You don't really need to know any of the questions. It's unimportant. Get to work. Anything else? That's all I can think of. It has been enlightening. I bid you a good night. See you tomorrow. Morbid curiosity and achievement unlocked. Do your job! We seem to be on the precipice of dark times. I may be warned that this job can have some harsh moments. Today is that day. A total of six humans have to die. 
at least two older humans have to die. Any humans with economy-related profession have to die. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. All right, young cook discovers new healthy way of preparing food. Whoopee! Romance blossoms as hunter almost shoots local scientist in frog costume. Falls in love instead. <laughs> I love this. They're actually connecting together. It is great. Local teen perishes in hospital after mishap with a high voltage hyperboloid. Ex-military industrial complex is tackling, pro tackling progressive issues having with their first ever female CEO. Well, I, I'm more interested in the whole romance thing going on there. You know, we'll put that there, we'll put that there, we'll close the drawer, and there's still nothing in that one, so. Um, let's start. So, a total of six people have to die. Um, two older humans. How do you define older? Any humans with economy-related professions have to die. A banker. He has... <laughs> well, it says economy. Die. <laughs> Ross is a highly, widely celebrated economist. Wow, I don't know if that was an accent or English or what. A widely celebrated econ economist is the preeminent expert in the market manipulation. For the past decade, they have appeared on many television programs advising people when and where to invest their funds. Dead. And plus he's older. That should count as two, right? I mean, not, not literally two, but I mean it would... You know what? I'm an idiot. Let's just go with that. Um, so, yep, you're dead. Nice knowing you. Got another one. Keep for tool. Uh, 19. So, he is a youngin. Unemployed social media influencer. Likes attention to the account on every social media platform. Their favorite activity is hanging off of clips, selfies, large social medias, brought a hefty sponsorship to a medical insurance company. All right, well, we will move you there, because we don't know yet. You are 73 years old. Whoops. Mysterious capitalist. Someone knows about Harris and their history and their most mystery. Most of them seem moving around in a wheelchair. Barely a word to anyone, although we they once helped a lost detective. Well, you're old. You should probably die. That's a, that's a weird thing. Uh, capitalist, die. Um, <laughs> the Phonia, their latest heir of the Einer family, started off providing security for almost 100 years ago for initial modern a consulting firm. Over the time, they acquired a number of factories and grew into an arms providing conglomerate known as the Sundower, Sundowner Security Services. Dead! You evil person! I don't know if that counts as an older person yet. She's probably gonna die. Or he... Uh, she, he, it is going to die. Oh, you look fabulous, lady. Frederick Hogg. A monk. Frederick spends all their days in a monastery writing manuscripts by hand. Although the printing press was invented centuries ago, they insist that texts written by hand are most pure. We'll put you right down there. And then we got this one, which is, uh, he looks like a taxi driver. Uh, Jean-Baptiste Portine. Retired. Uh, veteran long military conflict with, uh, Marosia Pen... Peninsula for years they've had to deal with bouts of PTSD which they managed to alleviate in their twilight years by painting and composing melancholy folk songs. They run a successful investment firm on the side. Die! Damn investment auteurs. Wait, is that what I'm supposed to be doing? Economy related professions. Okay. Economy related. Veterinarian. Annie has a special connection with animals from a very young age, preferring their company over humans. Although they have only worked for a few years, they are already considered a legend with the nickname the Mouse Whisperer. Okay. And you are a bus driver. They are pulling double shifts to save money to open a small vegan muff vegan muffin shop. They can barely make it to the bathroom or eat during breaks. When they are home, they come. Thank you for letting me know that you're vegan. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have nothing wrong with vegan people. That's their own choice. So that's four people dead. That one's 53, 40, 70, 40. And I have to have six people die, which means uh, two more people have to die. And I'm just going to assume 
that one of them is going to have to be, you know what, it's going to have to be this lady because that guarantees the, uh, the quota. Oh, plus it says mysterious capitalist. Uh, needs to die anyway. Sorry. All right, so one more person has to die. We've got... We're going to keep the Mouse Whisper. The Monk. Nope. Social Influencer must die. You live. You live. Yep. Done. Influencers are capitalists. Ah, Grim. It looks to be a rough day out there. New recruits often falter during dark time. What I do wrong? Yet you seem to have performed adequately. How do you feel after such a day? I was built for dark times! Excellent. With this attitude, you will become a most industrious reaper. Let us hope these days do not continue. If you haven't seen it, you should go and find... Idea what happened? Um... There's a show called Dead Like Me, and then there's a movie for after it. You should watch that. It involves the whole Grim Reaper thing. Don't you know what happened? You're in charge, after all. Yes, I am. And yes, I do. Yet what use is a Reaper who cannot discern the situation from the details in front of them? Well, it has to do with economic and blah blah blah. would intrigue me. Yes? Interesting. An insightful streak may yet rattle inside that skull of yours. Mm -hmm. Off you go now, Grim. Good night. Oh, I didn't get to push more buttons. Okay. A letter. Okay, see if we can clean up the mess from yesterday. That might give you a boost you need. Don't forget, you may leave troubles behind, but new ones always lie ahead. Two humans have to die. Spare humans who seem helpful against the troubles. Keep vigilant. Wait. Okay, so two people have to die out of six. Local man commits suicide after losing family savings in market crash. Respected financier found dead after devastating market crash. Suicide suspected crooked bankers. Master bank officials under investigation for years long fraud. Local monk last person on earth who can still write by hand. Scientist baffled. Sundowner is taking a massive hit in the stock exchange against the CEO accidentally shot during a drone misfire. Hero alert! Area veterinarian saves the day after pacifying a horde of, ang of hangry mice. Oh, give them sneakers. Uh, social media star falls off cliff while taking a selfie. Yay! No, I... I... <laughs> I'm sorry, anytime I see something that talks about a social media person, it it always, like, clicks in my mind about someone who is, like, and, like, not a real person. I mean, seriously, they're like, ah, whatever, it doesn't matter. Downtown traffic disrupted, but in a massive pileup. AI breakthroughs imminent, promises founder of Transglobal Incorporated. Alright, we'll put that down. Alright. Fraud CEO, Charlie has been helping his brother Albert David hide corporate money to avoid paying taxes for years, perhaps even decades. They have also been accused of insider trading and other fraudulent activities. They currently live in a mansion just outside of town. I don't think this is helpful against the troubles. Alright. Breaking leaves in the yard, blowing them around with a leaf blower is much more fun. This is why Brian takes care of leaves exclusively with a leaf blower. Starting already at 6 in the morning, <laughs> the toxic fumes the machine emits don't concern them one bit. Yep, that helps others. Uh, we've got... Rufa enjoys spending all their days at home caring for their three kids. Recently, they agreed to become a surrogate for the same-sex couple. Another perk of being a stay-at-home parent for Rufa is the possibility to play Planet of Peacecraft at any free moment. You get to live because you play Planet of Peacecraft. Feel fortunate that I don't end your life. Whoa, wait. Oh. Can't put them down there. They flop up. Okay. David Garber. 34. Wow, that full. 
you know what? Let's reduce his forehead a bit. There we go. Look a little more. Oh, a little too much. Oh, too much over there. Yep. Oh. oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, now he's got a beanie. There. Now he's wearing a beanie. Alright, uh, David is the founder of Transglobal Incorporated, a company that produces high-tech gadgets like smart watches and digital home assistants. For the past five years, David has been the foremost prominent algorithms for artificial intelligence on Earth. Well, let's cause the Terminator thing to happen. So, that's... That's two that live. We need two to die. Scam artist! Yeah! A liar and a grifter, Francois, is the next politician who spent many years writing books on ignorant, ignorant nonsense and now profit from the veritable butterfly effect of the misery of others. Often, you know, you're, you're, I'm sorry. Goodbye, dude. Uh, I can't just, whatever. Did, okay, you lived, you lived, that's one person that died. Oh, you're a doctor. Well, you automatically get it, but we're going to read anyway. After decades of working as a doctor, Manuel ultimately got really tired of it. Nowadays, they are experimenting with dead bodies trying to sew together in order to create some sort of new... I guess I should read him before judging it just by that. Okay, Mr. Frankenstein. Okay, that's three people alive. Alright, so, Fraud CEO. Uh... Yeah, you can live. You can die. Done. Who knows? Living forever might benefit mankind. Welcome, Grim. It is the end of the week. Your performance review draws near. How do you think you have been doing? Crushing it, yo! Dismal, I hate everything about this job, I didn't manage... <laughs> I've managed to follow the rules. I'm just surprised I made it this far. I'm crushing it! Hmm. Yes, your answer has been recorded for the psych eval. Now then, before the assessment, let us look over your daily conduct. I only screwed up once from what I understand because it said quota was two, but it didn't tell me the limit was two. I see the required profiles are all here. Excellent. This bodes well for the evaluation. I guess it is time to get started. Wait, I wanted to ask about today. Yes? What about today? Yesterday went really bad. What about today? Today? Oh, everything seems to be getting better as we speak. Do not worry about it. Fixing the world is a slow process. So, keep at it. As long as you follow the rules, it will all get better. Now, where did I put those papers? Ah, here we go. Right. Looking at these stats, the numbers say... Your conduct over the seven days has been most excellent. I am, sincerely, surprised and pleased by your display of loyalty. So much so that the office has deemed you fit to Yay! I get a raise and I don't even know how much I was being paid before. Even more money? Yes! Thank you. I don't do this for the money. That's a load of crap. We money. Do what we can to provide for our spawn. What do I spend money on? Like bone whitening stuff? Looking on, the raise also comes with a prize. The office is proud to present you with an award of excellence. Display it proudly on your workstation. Do not let this cloud your judgment. You still have much to learn and many rules to follow. Really? <laughs> it's a bit hard. Does it get easier? That's what she said. Um, more rules, piece of cake. I like ice cream! something off <laughs> Nonetheless, as such, your seven-day evaluation period has concluded. You have passed. That is all. Until tomorrow, Grim. Let me guess. End of demo. Master of Balance, Fate's Pet. Thank you for trying the demo. For more information about development and eventual full release of Death and Taxes, please wishlist on Steam or follow us on itch.io. 
delicious. I love itch. It's actually where my game is. Um, not like you're interested. Uh, it's, uh, if one thing changed, it's more like an experience than, you know, it doesn't matter. I'd rather pay attention to this. Made by... We are grateful to continued support and interest. Did you like a demo? Yeah! I already did! Uh, no. I liked it. Alright, so uh, that's the end of the demo. If you'd like to try it yourself and see what other outcomes you can get, it is free on Steam for the demo and estimated that the release is going to be on the 20th of uh, this month. So, again, if you folks enjoyed this, please remember to hit the like button. If you'd like to see more, hit the subscribe button. Other than that, I'll catch you all in whatever the hell I feel like recording next. Boop, boop.